How's it going everyone? So today I'm going to talk about how to lose stomach fat in 10 days. That is the question that I got from a subscriber so I'm going to answer it right now for him. So what you guys want to understand is that stomach fat, it all depends on how fat you actually are. So it depends on what your overall body fat percentage is and how much you weigh. That will determine how long it will take you to lose that amount of stomach fat. So. 10 days, is that reasonable? What do you guys think? From all you guys watching my videos, from what you picked up on me in the past, anything that says a day, two days, be realistic, is anything in life really that easy? If I told you you can make $150,000, no education, nothing, and get the job in a day or two, like, would you believe me? Probably not, like, it's, um, it's very tough, like anything in life when it says it's easy, two, three days, chances are it's not right. What do we all know from past experience that anything that is worth doing is generally extremely hard, takes a lot of hard work. So you guys need to apply the same principle to losing weight. I know some people will tell you you can do it in 10 days and I really wanna tell you the same thing, but here's what people are not telling you that when you're losing that that weight in 10 days, what people actually do, and you'll see it all the time in pictures, looking at magazines and videos is just the, the worst thing that you can do for information. What people will do is they will get their stomach completely bloated, have a ton of carbs, ton of sodium, ton of water. They will take the picture in the worst possible lighting imaginable, the worst possible lighting. Then what they'll do is they will take a picture first thing in the morning the best lighting in the world. They may have one for a jog or they may have a, did a workout fasted, fasted. So their whole body is pumped up. They're extremely lean. The lighting is insane. And what they will say is that this difference was 10 days. That doesn't happen, you guys. 10 days, when you, if you truly wanna lose that stomach fat, for people watching this video, and I know you guys click on the search button, you go from video to video to video to video looking for that easy answer, how to actually lose the stomach fat. How do you actually get the six pack abs? How do you actually get the big biceps? How do you actually do that? Right now, I'm gonna teach you guys how to actually do that. Because if you guys keep clicking on videos, you guys are never gonna learn anything. And I was exactly the same way. That's why I'm telling you guys this right now. So how do we actually go about losing stomach fat? It's calories in versus calories out. All of you guys know that, but does it actually work? How many of you can honestly say that you can eat the exact same amount of calories every single day, tracking everything, every little uh, calorie, it's extremely tough. I've been doing this for almost eight years, you guys, and I still find cutting weight a little tricky. Yes, I'm extremely good at it, and yes, I know how to weigh my food, track my calories, but I've been doing this for eight years, you guys. I've also got a 600, over 600 pound deadlift, and I squatted over 450. My bench is closing in on over 315 pounds. I know what I'm doing, you guys. So I'm telling you this to help you guys out. There's more ways to lose weight than simply um, tracking your calories and for the longest time I would simply say calories in versus calories out. That's not going to work for a lot of people. A lot of people need other roots in order to lose the stomach fat. So what can you do to lose that stomach fat? What you can do is instead of measuring your calories, you can measure the amount of fitness that you are doing per day. And the way that you're going to do that is by measuring it by the total amount of time that you guys are walking or running per day. What I recommend for this is using the treadmill. The reason for this is because on the treadmill, you can calculate the exact distance and the exact time that you guys are running and the exact speed. So those three things can be accounted for. The speed, the distance, and the time. When you're walking outside, you have no idea on the speed that you were doing. A great example of this is one day, you may jog a little bit harder, and then the other day you might not jog as hard. So then your measurements are gonna be skewed and it's not going to work for tracking your calories. If you're on the treadmill day one and you're walking at 4.0 miles per hour for 20 minutes and you do let's say one kilometer, okay, whatever. Um, the next day or Wednesday or whenever you do it, you do day two, you do 21 minutes and you go a little bit farther at the exact same speed. Guess what happened? You just progressively overloaded. That's right. 
That is the key for anything in weightlifting. It doesn't matter. The key in weightlifting is overloading your body. You overload it just a little bit. So what happens is when you rest and you eat more, you build the muscle and that little bit of overload, over time that overload becomes this big and that's how you get your big biceps, your big arms, that's how you deadlift, squat and bench the insane amount of weights you guys. So the same can be said. Now, you guys are probably wondering, what does walking, jogging have to do with stomach fat? Again, in order to lose that stomach fat, you need to lose weight. The only way to lose weight is by either tracking your calories or going on the treadmill and tracking your fitness. You can do a mixture of both, but really I'd recommend just one. If you're gonna track your calories, track your calories extremely hard. Yeah, you can still do treadmill, cardio, weights. If you're gonna do your cardio super hard, track your fitness. What you're eating, be smart about it. You don't have to track anything at all. Just make sure you're not eating total garbage. Try to get some veggies in, some fruits, some whole grains, some healthy proteins as well. So a quick plan that you can do in order to lose the stomach fat is simply start on the treadmill, go 20 minutes, go at a, a decent speed for you that you're breaking a sweat. The very next day, add one minute to your time. That is it. Doesn't even have to be the next day. If you do it Monday, you can do it Wednesday or Thursday. Over time, that one minute will add up. Pretty soon you'll be walk, walking or jogging for an hour, an hour and 20 minutes. And again, you won't be able to add a minute every single time. You might only be able to add 30 seconds. Sometimes it may take three to four sessions of doing that before you can add 30 seconds. When I deadlift you guys, a lot of people, a lot of beginners, when I train them, they can add five to 10 pounds each session. So we train deadlift twice a week. They're complaining, wow, I'm only deadlift, I've added 20 pounds. For me, I trained four months to add five to 10 pounds to my deadlift, tops. If it's five pounds, that's amazing. If I get 10 pounds, oh my God. Sometimes I may just hit the exact same amount of weight. So again, if you're a beginner, extremely easy to get those gains. So I'm gonna stop it there. That's what you do to lose stomach fat. You do your cardio, you do your treadmill, you track your fitness, or you can track your calories. Pick one or the other. End of video, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Like the video and share it. Peace.